Hello! This is the final video in this um, series on comic and cartoon, graphic novel, artists, styles, etc. So, so far we've covered styles, genres, pen types, colouring, shot types, artists. If you didn't watch those videos, go and watch them. Yeah, no, they're up there, I think, probably. Um, if you have watched them, thank you for watching them. Um, now... I've put some of them together. I've not done. I've not done loads because, like, you can go and play yourself, can't you? It's more fun playing on mid journey yourself than listening to me. Uh, but I've just done a few just so you can get an idea. Um, so yeah, I think I used a consistent seed on these. So a sci-fi space battle by Colin Cotterill. Um, yeah, I've played around, re redid a few of these. A cyberpunk car chase scene, cell shade. So I've used cell shading, graphic novel. Uh, and I've just used Bocker, however it's pronounced. I just wanted to see how that, that came out. So I've thrown a few extra bits and pieces in. Redid my space scene a few times. Redid the, the, the cyberpunk car scene. Um, Rerolled it. Just kept wanting to see different versions of how these came out. Um, there we go. Uh, yeah, quite a lot of times. And then I started playing around with uh, this one. Domestic oh, right. So, yeah, so here we go. So I did a storybook illustration of a domestic scene of a boy and his mother using, and I use one of the pens here, Prismacolor Premier Chisel Fine Art Marker pens, coloured using cell shading. <laughs> um, and there you go. Uh, it's definitely cell shading. Uh, and there it is upscale. Yeah, coherence isn't amazing, but I'm pretty happy with that picture. Pretty happy. Yeah. Um, and then this one, I really like this one. So I use Doodle here. So this is a doodle of a marketplace street using Copic marker pens, coloured using flat style. Yeah, it's definitely marker pens that, and it's definitely doodlish. So yeah, so. But then I thought, let's see if we can. Well, somebody online said actually, is that reproducible? I thought, I don't know. Let's see. So I did a doodle of a domestic kitchen scene with the husband and wife using Copic marker pens coloured using flat style. And it did kind of come out using the same style, but the, the feel of it was very different. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I still need to think about the best way to, to drive consistency in scenes. Because obviously, if you're trying to put a book together, that's going to be a big problem, isn't it? If you can't get a consistent look across it. Um, unless you can do that. <laughs> Obviously, the coherency and what you've got in every scene is uh, is just not going to work. But, yeah, I just decided to do a whole range of boxes for me there. Um, then I, just, I thought, right, okay, I'll do the marketplace again. Um, it lost the fact that I wanted it colouring, yeah? which was uh, interesting. And the same here. It decided I'm going to draw it, uh, but I'm not going to colour it. Same there. So I thought, okay, let's stick colour up at the front then. So I, I got it coloured um, very bright, <laughs> very brightly. Um, I don't know if you know, but you can actually tell it which colours and what colour palettes to use. So you might want to play around and actually give it some specific palettes. Um, so then I thought, I don't want any bright colour ones. So I started using Grisale. If you've done my other prompts class, you know what Grisale is, yeah? Because um, Grisale says try and keep it all within, you know, fairly tight palette for a doodle of a dwarven warrior. And that's awesome. I like that dude. Did a few re-rolls of him. Thought, let's do Captain Kirk. <laughs> and it just went, even though I told it, it just shows you how bonkers mid journey is sometimes. I told it Grisale and it was like, nope, I'm going to do it super, super colourful. There you go. Um, another dwarven warrior. Nice colour border for no reason other than mid journey. If I like doing a colour border on him, um, and then I started doing a fancy battle between dwarves and goblins again. Coherence is not great in a scene like that. Um, I did that on a sketch pad as well, and I thought, oh, right, okay, maybe that's because I'm telling it to doodle. Got another one. Eventually, I decided to tell it not to doodle. There we go, Grisale. Oh, there we go. I, I, in the end, I, I stuck Grisale at the start. I thought, right, because the, the further towards the front your prompts are, the more attention it pays to them. Yeah, so I thought, right, okay, let's let's try and get it into a fairly toned down colour. Um, and then it toned it down too much a bit. So I played around with that for a bit. Uh, 
got one that I was kind of happy with. Um, and then I thought, right, okay, let's so let's play with this. So I did a space battle between human spacecraft and bioorganic alien ships, muted colours, line art using fencing pens, coloured using an airbrush. Um, and I got that one. Oh, and then I redid the fantasy battle with elves and goblins, fountain pens and airbrush. And I quite like that one. That came out pretty well. So you can see it's completely different to that one, yeah, which is, what's that one? Copy marker pens and flat style colours, yeah? That's most definitely got an airbrush feel to it, yeah? So so it does seem to work. Um, and that's it. That's as far as I got. So if you've watched all seven videos, yeah, and you've enjoyed them, hope you've learned something, um, if you've got any good images you want to share, hit me up on Twitter, uh, you know, and tag me on them. I'll have a look at them. Um, but, yeah, there you go. That's everything I've learned and shared on trying to do comic and cartoon stuff. Um, I really hope Mid Journey gets to the point where we can do more coherent, um, you know, images and start getting to the point where we can actually put together a comic book graphic novel because that would be awesome, wouldn't it, if we can, you know, build an entire graphic novel using, um, using Mid Journey. So... Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed these, um, your love keeps me making videos. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching.